Hello, my name is Emily and I work for the Brighton Feld Group. We specialize in health insurance and today we're going to do our first ever tutorial on how to create a Mensure account and also how to log into that account. For a lot of people, um, Mensure can be a little bit overwhelming and it seems like a difficult task to create your account, but it's actually a pretty easy process and we're going to go through it step by step. It's important that if you are creating your Mensure account by yourself that you don't use um, a smartphone or a tablet. Mensure just doesn't work as well with those. They recommend that you use a laptop or a desktop to do that. And so we're going to get started. Thanks for watching. When you're getting ready to set up your Mensure account, you want to remember that you should either use Google Chrome or Firefox. Those are the two browsers that work the best with the Mensure site. I'm going to use Firefox um, and I'll go ahead and open this browser here. I'm going to show you first off how to clear your browsing history within Firefox because that's very important in order for Mensure to work properly. So we're going to go to Tools, Clear Recent History, and then it's going to bring up all the different things that we want to clear. And we actually want to add, basically select all of the things that are on here. I guess that one doesn't click offline website data. We don't need to click, or, um, click site preferences, but we can click the other things. And then instead of going through the last hour, we want to go everything. So this is going to clear my browsing history for everything I've ever really done in here, except for my site preferences that I have selected. I'm going to clear now. All right, there it goes. And then we're just going to close out Firefox so that uh, it can kind of regroup. We want to make sure that we've officially cleared everything. And once it's cleared out, um, you can even quit it with Firefox so that it's officially closed out. That's going to be your best way um, to have success with Mensure. Now I'm going to go ahead and reopen it. Now we've got a fresh, clean slate to start with, and we can go to creating our Mensure account. So I'm going to go to Minsure.org. And it's going to pull up their home screen. And you can see that up at the top it says create an account. Now if you already had an account, you just go to the sign in button. But since we don't have an account yet, we're going to go ahead and create one. And we'll click this button. So this is your nice little um, preparation screen, which kind of gives you some nice tips and tricks on how to create your account through Minsure. And um, if you click on the various different tabs, they have little checklists for getting ready for that um, application that you're going to do in November. If we're pretty much ready here, we want to create our account. We're going to hit this orange button up here and it's going to take us to the account creation screen. And this is where it all begins. So you can read through this stuff if you'd like to. Um, there's some informative stuff. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it says 15 to 20 here, but I would say 10 to 15 is probably more accurate. And uh, you can click the next button. There's a little privacy policy that you'll want to kind of review, make sure that looks good to you. And then you'll hit agree and accept. And this is just where you type in your basic information. Um, name, date of birth, address, social security number, and so forth to get to the next screen. And I'm going to actually type in my personal information and I'll be back with you in just a moment to show you um, what the next screen looks like. So this is what the next screen will look like. They'll pull up um, security questions and basically they're just four multiple choice questions where they let you choose the answer and then you'll hit the next button. And this is just to verify your identity and that you are who you say you are. So this is my next screen where I have to choose a username and password. So the username can be just about anything. And then the password has to have one capital letter, one number, and one symbol. It needs to be at least eight characters long. And then you'll need to choose also a shared secret, which is basically just a second password that Minsure will know. Um, and then you've got five security questions that you'll need to pick from. I just chose my favorite five and put in my answers here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the next button. So identity proofing and obtaining an account is complete. 
that was pretty easy, took just a few minutes of our time, and I hope that you found that very informational and helpful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead now and clear my browsing history yet again so that when I um, go back in to sign into my account, my, uh, my history is clear and I've got a clean slate to work with. So now we're squared away and we'll be able to log into our account